In about 40 seconds from now, a new master quest is being released into old school RuneScape, Secrets of the North. I might not have all the requirements for this, but if I do not, we will complete that real quick and then get straight into completing the quest. After that, I want to jump into the new boss that is being released with the quest as well and try to get a couple of kills and see what the loot is like. We are back into the game and here is the new quest, Secrets of the North, and there is going to be quite some requirements for this, Difficulty Master, and let's go down, we need to do Devious Mind, Hazel's Cult, and that's pretty much it, maybe there is some quest requirements for these two quests, but I guess we'll see. And that is the first quest completed, Devious Minds. Oh my god, you can see the new boss in the collection log. Phantom Musba. I really wonder what all of these items are going to be. I haven't really read up on any of the updates, so this is going to be very interesting. And there we go, that's Hazel's Cult completed, and we should have all the requirements now to actually start the big quest. I suppose the first boss fight of the quest doesn't seem that difficult, but this is not the main boss that we're going to be fighting. The second boss is about to be down, he has to be killed in the smoke clouds, otherwise you can't do damage to him, but that was not too bad, he can hit very hard up to like 30 damage, so it can be a bit scary sometimes, but yeah, he goes down pretty easily. Alright, boss fight number two, this might actually be the boss that is on the collection log, because it's called Strange Creature, and I wonder if this is going to turn out to be the actual boss. Hopefully uh, this is not like a scary area where if I die I lose all my gear, but uh, let's see what happens. Dude, what am I even supposed to be doing? I think this is the end of the fight and it's just slowly losing HP, but am I just literally supposed to wait here until the boss dies? Because I can't actually do damage. The strange creature's prey shield mitigates regular damage. What does that even mean? <laughs> It's going to be really fun to actually learn this fight if this is the fight that I'm going to be doing later on and uh, I definitely did a lot wrong but uh, there it is anyways, it's dead and uh, maybe we are close to completing the quest at this point. And I was right, Gorok Dungeon Access which is the new boss of course, so I guess the last fight was the boss fight, 60k Agility, 50k Thieving, 40k Hunter, are we going to get any levels, 81 Agility, very nice but I am so curious about that boss, I want to go back and see what the loot's like. So what people are using right now after doing some research is a max range setup with T-Bow as well as a mage setup to actually freeze the boss when it goes into a melee phase and then mage it in that one. So you do need some switches, but let's go ahead and give it a try and see if we can get a KC. So let's actually talk about how the boss kind of works, what I know about it so far, and how I managed to get my first kill. So when the boss looks like this, the brownish grey color, it is in melee phase. And in this phase you want to barrage the boss, freeze it, and then basically just attack with magic. When this happens, it goes into the ranged phase. You need to be praying ranged during this one, swap to your ranged gear, and just absolutely blast the boss with your ranged weapon. These phases will basically be the only two phases that will repeat until close to the end of the fight. You also see these spikes coming up, run away from them. If you get hit by them, you actually heal the boss slightly and take a good amount of damage. There is also this phase where the boss starts teleporting around all the time and you have to avoid the small clouds in the middle. Basically all you have to do is just equip ranged gear, attack the boss, or even magic gear I think works in that phase. Just attack the boss meanwhile avoiding the clouds. Also, the boss can do this animation right there, and you have to protect magic versus that. I did not, I took an 11. You can actually take up to like 35 damage from that, you can take a lot of damage. And on top of that, you get cursed, you can see on my prayer on the top right. It actually drains my prayer occasionally now and then, so really, it's good to pray magic versus that. Eventually, the boss will go to low HP, do a massive magic attack, which at this current point, I don't really know how to avoid just yet, but when this shield comes up, that I wasn't really sure on how to do it before, you basically just use smite. You use smite and you attack the boss and you have to flick between magic, ranged and smite. Smite when you attack and then ranged prayer most of the time and magic prayer when it does the magic animation. And when the shield goes down, this is basically the end of the fight. You just attack the boss with ranged prayer up and magic protect if you need to and just attack it until it dies with your twisted bow or whatever ranged weapon you have. Now I am willing Now I'm willing to go out on a limb and say this is actually a bit more difficult than Vorkath and let's see what the first loot is going to be. Soul runes, rune plate legs. Oh my god, that's actually pretty good. Ancient essence is this tradable. If it is, it's going to go straight into the GE and see what it actually sells for. 
So it actually is sellable. Let's try to sell it for just whatever we can in the beginning. Just try to sell one of them. And what is it going for at this current point? 602, wait, 602 GP. That is insane. If we put that 600, one kill is 330,000 GP. 422,000. Okay, we're doing this for a while. We're doing this. If I sell both of these items as well from one single kill, we just made 650,000 GP. That is nuts. Okay, this boss is definitely a bit ridiculously dangerous sometimes. I know it's just because I'm bad at it, but I guess the learning curve is kind of interesting. And there we go. Let's see what case number two is going to be. That is a lot of items. Is that no 10 manta rays? Nearly a thousand ancient essence. This could have been like a what? 800? Actually, that's, yeah, that's like 800k loot if they sell for 600 GB each. All right, I feel like I'm getting a bit better at this, which is very nice to see. And the loot is going to be a lot of items once again. But four minute kill. It's not going faster, but I'm taking a bit less damage at least. Oh, now I know how to avoid the big magic attack. You just have to hide between one of these or behind one of these. And you're pretty much good to go. Look at that. So we just hit 5 kill counts and let's actually see if these are just crashing in price right now as more people are doing it or if it's maintaining a 600 GP price. Let's do that. And they are not selling. Kind of assume that. Let's see how much they've actually crashed at this point. I would assume that, you know, 1.7 million GP in Ancient Essence from 4 kills that I've done is not going to maintain its price. So let's try 400 GP. That would still be a really good price. Yeah, okay, never mind. All right, the Insta sold for 300. Let's go ahead and see what we actually got for this. 1 million and 50,000 GP. So I guess that was like 350 GP, something like that, which is still pretty good, but that means they are absolutely crashing and probably will end up at like 50 GP or like 100 at maximum, I would say. Okay, I have to say I am definitely getting better at this. The reason why is because I just got a two kill trip and that is a big beam, 320k in grimy snapdragons 31 of them i wonder if that's actually a rare drop because that seems really insane especially for iron man imagine that 38 super stores wait hold on someone just got three dragon plate legs 500k worth and it is confirmed from this boss isn't that more actually than you get from vorkath that's kind of insane okay i just did a kill using only one single food I am definitely getting a lot better at this, and grinding this boss out seems to be way more feasible at this point. I have this boss on absolute lockdown. I barely use any food at all anymore, and I feel like I can maybe bring like double the amount of prayer potions and be completely fine. And wait, no way! Is that one of the actually super rare items? Charged eyes as well? I got two unique items. I have to go to the G and check that out. I feel like the red beam should indicate that it's actually really good. All right, let's see. Charged eyes you cannot put on the GE. Can you put the venerator? You can. All right, let's try out like an absurd amount, I guess, like 50 million GP. Probably not going to sell. No, that does not seem to sell. I'm not really sure what this is actually used for. So I guess I'm going down to like 20 million GP and it is not selling for 20 million. So I guess it's not worth too much. But let's try on the last one for 10 million. Please be worth at least 10 million. All right, it sold for 10 million. That is definitely a very good drop for 9k. See, and it sold for 17 million. Actually, 18 million, uh, but uh, a bit less with tax. I really wonder what that is. And the uh, charged eyes, I'm not completely sure what it is either. Essence of a phantom must but alternate forms. All right, no idea. I think I was actually really lucky because that is one of the shards and one of the items that you need to be able to make the Venator bow, which is the tier 80 new ranged weapon, which is the one that hits in an area, like an ice brush basically, but for ranged. That is so interesting. I actually think, now that I think about it, I feel like it should sell for more than 18 million, but because I think you need five of them, it makes sense that it's worth a bit less. Well, I guess you can say my first impressions with this boss is pretty insane. The money seems to be really good and i made 20 million gp of course because i was lucky in 9kc but that could also be you and i think that this boss is definitely going to be rivaling vorkath i do think it is more fun than vorkath which is also an additional bonus on top of it on top of that just by playing the boss a short amount of time i can definitely see you being able to do this boss without using a single piece of food which actually, at the current state of the boss, I think is going to make it even more profitable than Vorkath, which is kind of insane.
But with that said, good luck to all of you guys who want to take on this boss. It has some steep requirements in terms of questing, but if you have most of the quests done, this should not be that big of a deal. But for now, this is it for this video. Subscribe if you liked the video, like the video if you liked it. And until next time, guys, take care.